So hi everyone, this is our screencast on colour mixing of light. Uh, and firstly I want to talk about uh, colour addition. So colour mixing, the sort of thing we did with our uh, light boxes, and um, really is, is the, bottom, the bottom line for light, you know. We talk about dispersion, breaking up white light into its various components. Well this is like putting it back together again. And this uh, uh, colour wheel is really useful. Okay, so you've got the three primary colours. You've got red, you've got blue, you've got green. And whenever they mix together, you get a secondary colour. So pairs of them. Green plus blue gives cyan. Red plus blue is magenta. Um, and green plus red is yellow. And when you add all three, red, blue and gr green, you get white. Okay, that's the principle. And that's what that says over here. You've got red, blue and green. Or red, green and blue. <laughs> RGB as in now. Um, computer monitors, etc. They all add up to give you white. Um, the secondary colours, as I've said, are uh, magenta, cyan and yellow, so you need to know those as well. And then you also need to know uh, what complementary colours are, and that's basically um, two colours that add up to make white. And really, that's just the three primary colours. So wherever you see the three primary colours together, you know um, that's going to make white. So magenta plus green, well you just need to remember that magenta is actually red and blue, and plus green, that's, that's the three primaries, that makes white. Cyan and red, okay, you need to remember that cyan is actually blue and green, and red, so they're your three primaries again. How about yellow and blue? Well you need to remember that yellow is actually red and green, and that gives you, uh, plus blue gives you white. Okay, so that's, you need to, you need to know, you need to remember those, those, um, those rules. Uh, let's have a look. It's a really nice um, YouTube clip um, that shows that white light minus a primary equals a secondary or complementary colour. So I'll just show that and we'll have a little we'll have a little watch of that one. We are using a large frosted glass globe, a prism, a lens and intense white light from a carbon arc. Okay, so they're using a ruler. Use a ruler to block certain colors that emerge from the prism. The remaining colors combine in the frosted globe to form new ones. We start with the full spectrum. Blocking the blue portion of the spectrum produces yellow. So we block the blue, and basically we've just got left uh, the red and the green. So that adds up to yellow. Blocking green produces magenta. Okay, remember, so we've blocked green. So that means we've got red and blue left, and there's our magenta. Blocking red produces cyan. Okay, so remember, no red. So we've just got green and blue, and there's our cyan. Okay, so let's just head back to the... Um, so I think it's a really, really nice little um, video. Then you can have a look at that yourself and just have a think about what's going on. But it's nicely a nice demonstration. Okay, now let's think about colour subtraction, which is how we see colours. It often you know, takes a little bit of time to get your head around, but we'll, we'll do our best. Now, the first thing is, is filters. And the idea is that a filter is actually um, a substance that absorbs some colours of light. So this subtraction is all about absorbing some colours, so you don't see them, basically. Okay, so let's let's think about a red filter. When you when light goes passes through a red um, filter, you see red light. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. But what the filter is actually doing is light. Most of the time is white light. Okay, which is shown here. It's made up of the three primaries: red, green, and blue. 
but in fact only the red comes through. You think about putting a bit of red cellophane on a torch, okay? You don't see the, the white torch light, you only see red. And that filter, that cellophane, has actually absorbed the green and the blue um, frequencies of the white light and only let the red through or the red be transmitted, okay? So you need to think about the, the primary colours of light and say, well, what aren't you seeing? to work out what a filter absorbs. Okay, so a red filter, you see the red, therefore, if white light's gone through, the green and the blue have been sort of taken out. Okay, and similarly, like if a blue filter, uh, it's the blue, but absorbs the other two primaries, so red and green gets absorbed. And then you start to see funny things if you shine a particular color into a filter. So you try to shine a red light through a blue filter, well, we just worked out that blue filters absorb red and green, so if red's trying to go in, it gets absorbed. You don't actually get any light through. You actually perceive black. That's something you might want to have a try. Um, and how about yellow? Well, remember yellow? The, it's um, a secondary color. It's made up of red and green. And if you shine that through a green filter, um, green lets green through, then you have to um, assume that if there's any red, it'll be absorbed, but the green will come through. So yellow light through green will um, produce green, okay, because there was green there to be start with. Let's have a look at just a little demo. Let's go to this website, and here's a nice demonstration. You have a filter here. It's clicked on the red, and when you shine it around the flags of the world, um, you can actually see, you know, that the red light gets through it, but if there's no red light, it looks black, okay? So, so white, remember white light is all the colors, which includes red. So white looks red, red looks red, but any other primary looks black. Now secondaries are, you know, if they've got red in them, we'll see the red, but there's no secondaries here. So you can change this. I can click on the blue filter, see what these flags look like. Obviously, what, you know, white looks blue, blue looks blue, but the others look black. The other primaries, and you can change it to green. So that's something you can have a play with as well. It's quite an interesting, um, interesting site. Okay, let's move on. So what happens if you look at um, pigments or coloured coloured materials now, so not going through like a lens, which is uh, like a, like a filter, which is transparent, but these are something that's opaque. The light's reflecting off, and this is the principle that um, if you've got a red surface uh, or any surface, the appearance of objects are due to the colours they reflect. That's something you might might have thought about before. Okay, colours um, that are absorbed will not be seen. That is the reason why we get to see a colourful world, okay? So red substances look red because they reflect, reflect the red part of the white light that shines down, okay? So, uh, just a sec. So, um, that uh, is why you see red and blue substances reflect blue, but they absorb the other parts of the spectrum, so the green and the red, okay? Green uh, pigments reflect green, but they'll absorb the red and the blue, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? So it really depends on the light you shine on them, uh, which determines the way they appear. Here's the colours that we use in printing often. There's cyan, um, and it looks cyan because it reflects green and blue, but it actually absorbs red. So in white light, the red is getting absorbed into the cyan pigment, and we're seeing the others that are left reflected off. Okay, similarly for magenta, which we remember is made of um, red and blue light, what it's actually doing, it's just it's a substance that's really good at absorbing green. And similarly, yellow is a substance that's really good, um, yellow pigment is a substance that's really good at absorbing blue light and allowing the red and the green to reflect off. Um, which is kind of interesting. So let's just have a think about these mixing. So here's an example. We've got, uh, this is some mixing paint. So here's some... Uh, cyan paint and some yellow paint, we mix those together, we get green. Why is that? Because off the cyan, we've got um, the uh, blue and the green <laughs> being reflected, and off the yellow, we've got the red and the green being reflected, okay? But the cyan, if you, if you mix the paint, um, some of that red getting absorbed by the cyan particles and some of the uh, blue 
reflect the light's getting absorbed by the yellow particles, and they both, basically the only one they both still reflect and don't not absorb is the green. That's why the paint mixes the way it does, okay? When the same, you can go through the same sort of logic when you put in some magenta in the mix, okay? There's our, there's our colours of pigment. So you need to think about that, you know, in the mixture there's a lot of absorption going on, and what's left to be reflected, okay? Let's have a look at some uh, other examples. Here's some t-shirts under various lights, okay? So we, we shine a white light on a red t-shirt, and that's really good at reflecting a red light. It absorbs the other two colours. Blue t-shirts are good at re um, reflecting blue, but absorbing the other two colours. Yellow is good at reflecting red and green, but if you only sh shine red on it, you're only going to see red coming off. That t-shirt will look red. And what about if you shine um, a red light on a blue t-shirt? Well, that's good at reflecting um, blue, but if you don't shine any blue on it, it will appear black. That red will not reflect. It will be absorbed. Similarly, yellow onto a red t-shirt will just reflect the red and absorb the green, and it will still look red. Okay, and we'll just have a look at one more site, which is um, a mixing of colour filters. And um, it takes a little while to light, but you can have a play with this one too. Basically, put a red filter on these objects. You know, anything that's emitting red, like red colour or, or white, which contains red, well, you'll, you'll see it as just straight red. Um, and that will otherwise it'll be black. Okay. Or what about if you put green? Anything that is white or green will look green, but otherwise black. Okay. Any other colour will be black and similarly with blue. So you can have a play with all of those. Uh, it's an interesting little site. And um, that's the end of this screencast.